Hey everybody, this is Aaron Hansen here at Miller's One Hour Heating and Air Conditioning. We've been getting a lot of questions from you guys, and the main one is heat pumps. What to expect from your heat pump in this cold January day that we got here. So we're gonna head out to one of our clients' homes. Jerome's already there cooking things up. We're gonna see what we can learn. Let's head out there. All right, so we made it out here to one of our clients' homes, and today we're talking about heat pumps. What is a heat pump? How do they work? And we have our certified HVAC technician, Jerome here, who's gonna tell us how they work. Okay, so what is a heat pump? A heat pump is a device that pumps heat from one area to another. So in this situation, we're gonna be extracting heat from the outside air and pumping it inside your home. Okay, it's January here. There doesn't seem like there's very much heat. I mean, it's pretty <laughs> cold out here, so. Yeah, it is. So how does that, I mean, there's no, is there heat out here right now? Absolutely. There's always heat present in the air. Really? That doesn't feel like it. <laughs> it, this sure doesn't feel like it today, but yeah, this unit here is able to extract the heat, mainly due to the design of the unit. You see here, the coil is rather large in this so, particular unit so here. So this is this whole thing is a is a coil right here. The coil is really going to be more or less behind this louver here. This louver is mainly to protect the coil itself. So it goes coil wraps all the way around. Wraps all the way around. Okay, and it takes heat from the outside and pushes it in the house or into the yes, ducts. It is using the fan motor on the top here to pull heat in through the sides through okay. the coil and pushing the air out of the heat pump out of the top of it here. Pushes pushes the cold air. Well, it's going to be a lot colder than the outside ambient air, that's for sure. Okay, so it takes it takes the cold through here, takes the air through here, pushes the cold out and keeps the heat. And then the, where, where does the heat go after that? The heat is actually getting absorbed within the refrigerant. So as the heat or air passes through the coils here, that heat is giving up, or it's basically giving up its heat into the refrigerant. Okay. And then the refrigerant is then basically compressed and then taken inside and rejected in the air handler. So is this is this thing, is this heat pump on right now? It doesn't sound like it's on. We currently have the heat pump shut off from the disconnect there. Okay. What what is what is the disconnect? This is what it is right here. We have this the disconnect one? switch, yep. And okay. uh, keep in mind too that most of you out there are just gonna see one disconnect for your equipment. We have actually a solar system hooked up to this, so you'd see the solar disconnect there, and then we'd also see the utility disconnect, which is mainly going to be interrupting the power to this unit alone. Okay, so you know, let's turn it on. Let's see what happens. Well, we'll put the plug in there and see what happens. Okay, so now we have the compressor. So what? How do we? Can we look inside of this thing? Can we have sure. to shut it off again? How does that work? Well, probably wouldn't be a bad idea to shut it off. Okay. A lot so of times, anytime I remove a panel, I like to have the power off just in case. There was a live wire. Safety first. Yeah, safety That's first. what we yeah, believe absolutely. in around here. <laughs> so can I turn it off? Do you have to turn it off? How do, anybody can turn this thing off? Anyone can turn this thing off. So uh, can, can I do it? You can do that. Yeah, right, absolutely. So just pull it? Just pull it. Okay, now, there it goes. We'll keep in mind one thing that uh, generally speaking, you know, it's always best to remove the, the load on the system before we do this. But for this situation, we're just showing you as an example how to remove the power to the system. So yeah, a lot of times we'll actually remove the signal from the thermostat first before we actually remove the high power. But okay. In this situation, we can. That's you know, just another safety step to make. Another it. safety step, and okay. it also puts less wear and tear on the equipment on the itself. Yes. Cool. So let's do it. Open her up. How do we? How do we go about this? Well, I'm going to grab my trusty tool here. So as you can see, with this unit, it has a nice, big, accessible service panel, which makes the service tech happy. Yeah. Okay. Wow. We got this panel off. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this other secondary panel. So here we have it. This is it. You can. This is the see. guts. These we are can, the guts of the. Of this this thing. is it. Yeah. All right. So what do we got? Well, this is the compressor. You can see that the the compressor is actually covered by a shell, a plastic shell. And what this does in this particular model 
is it muffles a lot of the sound that compressor generates. Okay. So you'll find this on a lot of higher end models and things like that. You can see, basically when you look in there, you're seeing copper tubes surrounded by aluminum fins, much like a radiator that you'd find in a car. Okay, gotcha. So what is all this copper tubing? What is, what is all this? This is the method that the refrigerant uses to go, you know, from point A to point B. So the refri the Freon, the refrigerant is inside of this? Yes, it is. Okay, so tell me a little bit more about that. Well, depending on what part of the system you're dealing with, it can either be in a liquid state or a gas state. Okay. But the refrigerant is really what does all the work here. It's actually what is used to absorb heat and discharge that heat in different parts of the system. Now, you say refrigerant, I said Freon and refrigerant. Is that, those are the same? Um, kind of. Freon is actually a trademark name from the DuPont Chemical Company. Okay. And that was their chemical composition for R22 refrigerant, which you will not find in this particular unit here. So what kind of refrigerant's in this? This unit here contains R410A. So that's the new one? It's the newer refrigerant. Okay. So refrigerant, Freon, it's inside this, these pipes? Yes. Gotcha. Yep. Okay, Jerome, so this is a heat pump. So it heats, it heats and cools. Yes. Now there's other units that are just air conditioners. And so what's, what's the biggest difference between the two? The biggest difference lies in this right here. Okay, what is, what is that? This is the reversing valve. Okay, what does it do? This is gonna reverse the direction of the refrigerant so it's able to actually produce heat. It's able to pump the hot gas not only in your home but also to the outside coil. So it can, it's called a reversing valve, so it essentially reverses the direction of where the heat's going. Yes, or reverses the direction of the refrigerant. Oh, okay. Another big difference in your heat pump system is gonna be that right there. That looks that looks complicated. <laughs> do you know this? do you know what this is? This is the defrost board. Okay, what the heck's the defrost board? The defrost board is going to control the defrost of the heat pump. You see, as this heat pump generate or as it's operating, a lot of times it's operating at colder temperatures, like much like what it is right now. Like today, yeah, January. Like today. Perfect okay. example. So as that cold air is getting pulled across the coils, it's dropping the temperature of that air even further than normal. Okay. So a lot of times you'll see an accumulation of, of frost on the coil itself. So we could, this whole thing could be frosty right here it on could the outside. Be. It could be, absolutely. Generally speaking, the defrost board is gonna defrost it to not allow the buildup of too much frost on the coil. If we had too much frost on the coil, it would severely restrict the airflow, therefore restricting the capacity of the heat pump. So it can get frosty to a point, to a point. and then eventually there's so much frost, it's gotta do something about it. Right, as the temperature drops low enough, the defrost board is gonna detect that and sense that, and it's gonna go into what's called the defrost cycle. So he's the control man. It gets too cold, it's defrost board takes over, hold on, we got a problem. Yes. So what happens next then? Well, it throws itself into the defrost mode, and uh, this is one of the big, big things about heat pumps that a lot of people notice on, on their heat pump is, you know, they'll say something along the lines of, well, my heat pumps make a lot of noise or it's acting unusual. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of times what that what that actually is, is a normal defrost function. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put this unit into defrost. We're gonna we're do gonna, it. We're gonna do it. So there's no frost, but we're just gonna make it happen. Exactly, it's cold enough out here, we can certainly make this thing go into defrost. So okay. we can show the homeowners what to expect from their brand new heat pump. Well, let's do it. Let's do it. So it's frosted. As we can see here, this coil has developed you know, quite a bit of frost. Now this is a little bit exaggerated as to what you might find in the, in the field. Okay, uh, but this I, is this is typically normal though, the frost to be on the, on the unit. For the most part, yeah. Usually okay. you're not gonna let it build up quite so much frost before the unit realizes that it needs to go into defrost. So it'll, but, that board that we saw earlier, the control board, the defrost board, okay. it will trigger this. Yes, it will, automatically. Okay. Okay. automatically. So if you see a little bit of frost accumulating on your heat pump, not necessarily a problem. Don't be worried. Don't be worried as long as okay. it is defrosting. Now, as you can see here, if this was not defrosting, it's gonna build up a lot more than this. So this it could is, be it could be coming out this thing. <laughs> yeah, it very well could be. Okay. Yeah, so this even is a little bit exaggerated because I actually induced this to show an example of what happens during defrost cycle. So just turn it on. Okay, yeah, we'll put the power back on it and the ship will go right into defrost. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, the first thing you heard there was the reversing valve actually switch. So instead of piping hot gas inside, it's now piping that to the coil. And you can see the frost starting to melt on that coil in there. There wasn't a whole lot building up on this coil at the time, but on a colder day, you're gonna get a lot more buildup. 
So it's actually, it, oh, look at that, it's melting now. You see that? I pulled this panel off here so I can give you guys a better idea. And by the way, yes, this is a very dirty coil and I will get to cleaning this today. But you can see here that the frost that was melted off this coil is turning into water and is starting to drip outside and underneath this unit. Okay, Jerome, so we already talked about it's January, it's cold, 30, 40 degrees out here. Let's just go over once again, what can we expect from this heat pump? Well, you can expect, you know, the defrost cycle. The defrost, gets frosty, yep. goes into this mode, everything melts, okay, defrost cycle. You'll see the steam coming up there in that defrost cycle. Okay, could be steam. So if you see steam rolling out of your heat pump. Don't be alarmed, it's, it's probably normal. Probably normal. All right, okay. I mean, in fact, I'll be willing to say it's 100% normal. Okay. Yep. Um, as it sits right now, normal operation, compressor's running, fan motor on top's running. So we got buzzing here, we got airflow out here. Nice cold air, cold, that, yeah. Because it's cold out here. It's cold out here. Pushing hot, cold out the top. Okay, Pretty what good. else we got? Well, you got uh, the fish tanks working there. Now are uh, these, can I, can I touch this right here? You can touch that. That's warm. That's it pretty warm. warm. That's, that's normal. This one's even gonna be warmer. This is actually the, the vapor line, the, the hot gas line going inside your house. So that's that's what pushes the heat inside. Okay. So that's normal. Cold air out here, <laughs> hot going there. Okay. Yep. What else? Uh, you know, that's pretty much it for a heat pump. That's pretty much it. Hey guys, made it back to the shop alive. Let's go over what we learned today and what we can expect from our heat pumps in these chilly conditions. First off, it's cold outside, so there's bound to be some frost on the coil. Don't worry, your heat pump is designed to go into defrost mode to melt the frost. Therefore, there might be some steam coming up. There might be some water dripping down. Don't worry about it. Hope you guys learned a lot from this video. As always, Sincerely Millers.